Well, welcome to this combined drug testing kit and UK drug testing presentation and demonstration of how to do a panel drug test. For this particular test we're going to be using an isotonic urine substitute and the all test panel that I'm going to demonstrate for you here in the foil pouch. If we just open this up fully you will also find a little pouch of desiccant. Uh, that is to keep the panel completely dry in its storage pouch and do not remove it until you are ready to perform your test. Here's the standard design for the all test panel. This is a five panel, single sided, so we've got five drug test windows with combination abbreviations above each one, nothing on the rear of this panel. When you're ready to perform the test, collected a fresh urine sample, remove the cover panel from the drug test panel and that will reveal the prongs which you then dip into the sample just to the depth of the wavy lines no deeper than that the sample should not touch the bottom level of the panel now you can see already the pink dye is starting to run and wick up through the results windows I'm just going to leave this in the sample until it's reached the top of each of those uh, windows but when you're confident, and it will be between 5 and 20 seconds, remove the panel from the sample, place the cover back over the prongs, and lay it on a flat surface. Start a timer, and you come and look at the results showing at 5 minutes. So I'm going to stop the video now and restart when my timer hits 5 minutes. Well, welcome back. We're now at five minutes from having dipped this uh, test. I'm going to remove the sample container from the equation so I can show you the results window in nice detail. Here we have five control lines, one in each of the results window indicating that the control uh, is positive. That's fine. You want control lines present in each of the windows. It shows that sufficient urine has been absorbed by that membrane and wicked right the way well past the T-line areas. And then you're looking for the interpretation of the results by the presence or absence of a T-line. Now you can see with this test we've got five T-lines, five control lines, so all five of the drug tests performed in this panel are negative results. The drug abbreviations uh, are at the top of each of the columns here. So you'll see MDMA is ecstasy, COC cocaine, THC cannabis, AMP amphetamine and MET methamphetamine. So each individual one of these results relates to that specific drug group. What you may also notice is that the colour density, thickness and saturation of the T lines varies between the different drug groups. That's perfectly normal. Do not try and interpret any inference or level from the colour density, thickness or saturation of the T line. It varies between the different drug tests due to the sensitivities at which those tests are being tested. So that is perfectly normal. So I hope that's been helpful showing you how to perform and run and interpret a panel drug test. We should talk a little about what happens when you have no test line and control line a positive result. You should read that at 10 minutes. So once you've reached five minutes, if there are all five or ten or however many tests are on the panel, test lines and control lines showing, that's not going to change and you can interpret the drug test screen as wholly negative. But if one or two of the membranes is not showing a clear test line, then leave the test to complete for ten minutes. And if there is still no test line showing in the presence of a control line at ten minutes, that is an indicative non-negative or possibly positive result for that drug group and that would need further interpretation by use of a laboratory GCMS further analysis of a freshly collected sample. Thanks for watching.